In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your 3D wheels, axles, and bushings using Autodesk Inventor and learning how to use a new tool. The new tool that we will be using for these different features is known as the Revolve tool. Very similar to the Extrusion tool, but the difference between this tool and the Extrusion tool is that it will allow you to revolve around a central axis. So basically, you can start off in creating a 2D profile and as a 2D sketch, and then rotate that sketch all the way around and revolve it so that it's in a cylindrical shape. So in order for, in order for us to get started, we are going to go and open up Inventor, and we're going to start off with the basic inside wheel. Remember, this inside wheel can be used for shell cars or for outside wheel cars. These two these wheels can be used for the front of the car or they can also be used for the back of the car or both. So to get started we are going to open the metric tab and look for the standard millimeter IPT that is a part file. Hit OK and you will see that the 2D sketch panel has now appeared. From here we are going to create a center line and the center line is going to be our y-axis everything on the right side of the y-axis will be creating our 2D profile and that 2D profile will then revolve around one complete revolution a 360 degree turn around the axes that we create so to, in order for us to do the center line I need to turn on the center line feature so it does not look like an object line I'm just going to click once and then click again to create the center line hit escape turn off the center line so we now have object lines and then let's go take a look at the actual drawing we have so far here is a sample to show you exactly what we're going to need to do for our 2D profile so you see there's a sideways T which will make up the axle uh, I'm sorry will, which will make up the actual wheel inside here there's this open gap that's where the axle will be placed or inserted and we will be able to do that when we are in the assembly file so we'll be attaching the axles the wheels and the bushings at that time so the next thing I would like to do is to get some of the measurements so the first measurement that I'm looking at is where I will start the 2D profile it can start anywhere on the right hand side of the axis as long as it is 1.5 millimeters away so you see I want to go 1.5 millimeters and then I'm going to go across 1.5 millimeters and up 2.25 and then over 17. So let's go ahead and start that off. So the first thing I will do is I'll just draw a simple line starting here going over. And I'm going to draw another one connecting. And then going straight up. And from here, I'm going to dimension this first line to be 1.5. All right, then the second line will also be 1.5. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And at this time, I want to get rid of this first dimension. And I'm going to get rid of that first line. Okay, because if you go back into my other drawing, you'll be able to see that I don't have a line there. All I have is a dimension. And the dimension includes the diameter of the axle hole. So that is 3. So the radius then is the 1.5. So let's go ahead and dimension from this endpoint to this endpoint. Well, that's not the endpoint, it's the center line. And we will then be given our 3 millimeters as our diameter. From here, I need to go up the 2.25. Enter. And then I'm going to draw a line across, up, over, until we get the auto snap. I'm going to go up again, over auto snap and then come straight back down. Remember that the beautiful thing about Inventor is that we can draw out the 2D profile and then add the dimensions later, unlike with SketchUp. Which it can be done when in SketchUp, it's just a couple more steps. Okay, so I'm going to hit the D for dimension on the keyboard. Click here and this is going to be set to 17. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This right here is supposed to be 2.25, I'm sorry, 2.5 this measurement right here needs to be 2.25 and 
and this measurement right here, if I drew a dimension right here, it would have to be the same as this one right here, so it would be 1.5. So that would be what we call over-constraining our measurements. So I'll show you. That's over-constraining, not really needed. So the 2D profile has now been created, and from here we are now able to go ahead and revolve. So I need to hit the return from 2D sketch panel to the 3D part features options. So instead of extruding this time like we normally have in the past, we're going to use the revolve function or tool. So you could hit R for revolve or just click on the tool and you will notice that the 2D profile, this right here, will revolve around the axes that we have created here. So hit revolve and you can see how that looks. I'm going to actually rotate it. So you can see how the 2D profile started here and then revolved around the 360 degree turn. Hit OK and there is the axle. Or there is the axle hole and there is the wheel finished up to the point we are currently at. Next thing I will need to do is change the color. We can change the black and we can go ahead and fill it both of these sides here. So we're going to set them to 1. 2 is a little too much. So 1 millimeter is the radius that we're going to put on that end or that edge. Hit apply and OK and close this out. And then we'll orbit once again or rotate. And there is our wheel. That's an inside and outside wheel and can be used for all four wheels. So that is the finished product at this time. The next part you can do is the axle. Okay, the axle is actually rather easy to do. All you need to do is go into File, New, Standard Millimeter IPT, hit OK. You'd be able to get out your caliper. You're going to draw a center point circle. And the caliper would say that you're going to want it to be 3 millimeters. So we'd have to change the diameter of this to 3, hit Enter hit return so we're going to get out of the 2D sketch panel and go right to the 3D hit extrude and we're going to rotate this and we'll have to set the distance to whatever the axles distance would be so you would need to at this time measure your axles that were provided to you and you should be able to then get the distance that you would need and the best way to do this is to go on either side so we could try 60 millimeters Hit OK, there's your axle. To change the color, once again, you go into the As Material, change it. These are steel axles, so go into Metal, and you can use Steel. There's your steel axle, and save it. Now, if you choose to do the outside wheels, they're a little bit bigger, and they're a little bit more complicated to actually draw out in a 2D profile before you revolve. You can simply use the dimensions that are included here, and I will leave them up and you can pause those, uh, pause the video, I'm sorry, and you can take those dimensions and go ahead and complete the 2D profile and create the actual wheel. Once you have both wheels set, you're then going to be able to go ahead on your own and do the bushing, and that'll be all that you need to do at this point. You will need to follow the next video, which will show you how to take all the components that were created in addition to the dragster, and you will be able to then create what's called an assembly file where you will basically be able to see a finished assembled car including everything that you designed using Autodesk Inventor. And that is it.